Alright guys, welcome back to the channel, welcome to another video. We are live, and uh, we're on the ground here in the Cessna Longitude. It's a beautiful night here in San Antonio, Texas. We'll, we'll be leaving in uh, a private jet, because, uh, you know, that's how we do it in uh, San Antonio. Welcome to the channel, guys. If you're new, thank you so much for watching these videos and subscribing to the channel. I really do appreciate it. We are a small channel trying to become a bigger channel, and uh, here we are in this beautiful aircraft. I got a different livery, a little bit fancier. This is like the Matrix style, I would say. Um, it is about 35 degrees. They had an ice storm earlier here in San Antonio. We are taking our aircraft north of here to Houston, so we just got to be aware of the weather conditions today. Let's go ahead and just check uh, what's going on here before we take off. Right now, in uh, we, uh, we got a little bit of weather to the north of us up in Dallas as well, so that's something to be aware of. It's 36 degrees here, and uh, well, 37, 36 or 37 degrees, 10 percent rain, and uh, it's been cold and not too good of a weather um, over here. Uh, Houston looks like um, about 42 degrees, 50 percent chance of rain over there. So yeah, it's been a rainy, a rainy time over here in Texas lately. So let's go ahead and boot up this aircraft. We'll go ahead and put on the battery here. Oral warning. Okay. Clearance delivery Liberty 757 IFR to DFW. Ready to copy. Hold on. Let's uh, go ahead and put our is to DFW airport as filed. Take off runway nav light, one left climb and beacon light, feet. and strobe light. Let them know we're. We're going to be starting up this aircraft shortly here. Uh, let's go ahead and just change the flight controls. I have to make sure that I put it back to uh, engine. I forgot. There we go. Save apply. Pause. System test. Liberty seven five seven read back correct. Contact okay. ground on one two one. Now they did updates on the avionics equipment, so I'm curious to see how that goes. All right. Pause system test. Okay. Where's the avionics? Why is it not turning on? Huh. That's weird, right? Yeah. Huh. That's super strange. Emergency lights to arm. Oh, the avionics is not on. That's super weird. Huh. Is it still updating? Maybe because I was doing an update earlier. Notifications. Uh, let's uh, restart it real quick here and see if that helps it. For some reason, uh... Yeah, that's weird, right? Maybe it's still updating the avionics we just did an update with too in the flight clearance simulator. Clearance delivery here, Liberty so. 757 ready to copy IFR clearance to DFW. Liberty 757 no, cleared to DFW so weird. airport as filed. Let's Take off runway that. tree one left climb and maintain 9,000 feet. Departure frequency hmm. is one two. I wonder if it's because the livery. Let's go main menu and try something else real quick here. They did an update on the uh, avionics pack. If uh, this aircraft doesn't work, we'll uh, just switch it to the CRJ-4 and take that up to... Let's see what the heck is going on with this aircraft. Let's change the... We'll change the livery to... Uh... I don't know. That's so weird though, right? I don't remember what this one is. Let's see. San Antonio. 
Uh, let's... No, uh, whatever. San Antonio. On the ground here. To Houston. Was it Houston? Or was it? Oh, no, I'm sorry. It's Dallas. Oh, we're going to Dallas. Okay, my bad. Arrive. Okay, so I gotta change that in the stream. We're actually going to Dallas. Sorry about that. Hey. L L A S Dallas. Fort Worth. So we are gonna be in some pretty crazy weather, I guess. Alright, there we go. Dallas. There we go. Okay. We're doing a low altitude flight. 33 minutes. Okay. That was a little bit closer than I thought. Eyeless approach on 31 left, I believe. Actually, we should do a VNAV, yeah. But the ILS works pretty good in this one, so I think we'll be alright. Let's just do that. And, uh, okay, we should be ready to go. Let's see if this works for us or not. I don't know why the avionics wasn't working before, but we're going to try that out and see what happens once again. Okay, let's uh, let's see what's going on. So we are going to Dallas, my apologies, and uh, it's a little bit more severe weather. We are going to be in uh, some um, gusty winds. What's the weather in Dallas, Texas? Oh, wow, okay, so it's going to be snowing 31 degrees, and uh, wow, yeah, it's snowing over there, so... Should be fun. We got a five mile per hour wind, barometric pressure 3033. All right, should be uh, interesting. Feels like 25. Humidity is uh, 68, so uh, yeah, should be a fun time, huh? Let's see what this livery looks like. Oh, okay, okay, that's nice looking. All right, let's see. Avionics, come on, baby. Avionics gonna work for us or what? Clearance delivery Liberty 757 so ready weird, to copy right? IFR clearance to DFW. Why is the avionics not working? Liberty 757 is cleared to DFW airport as filed. This is super strange. Take off runway tree one left climb and maintain 13. They didn't update feet. on the departure frequency is 125.1 squawk 5635. What is happening with that? Liberty 757 cleared to DFW airport as filed. Hmm. Take off runway tree one left climb and maintain 13,000 feet. Departure on that's one so two five decimal one squad five six three five. Liberty seven five seven read back correct. Contact ground on one two one decimal niner. Good day. Special pump is on. So weird, right? is happening with this <clears throat> I don't know why this is not working avionics is up something's messed up with it wow all right let's try without the livery yeah, I wonder if it's the liveries that are messing up my computer here. It looks good on the outside, but it doesn't look good if it doesn't work, right? We're going to try that red one out. I know that works for a fact, so if it's not that, it could be a problem with the update or something. We're just going to go ahead and put it on the ground without doing the flight plan until we figure this out real quick. Let's see. Let's just, uh, I don't know, whatever. Pick a spot here. Just curious, depart. That's so weird, right? Never had a problem before. Very strange. 
We're going to try to use this aircraft if necessary. Uh, it should work with this livery. I know it did before. If not, there's something going on with the update. and Maybe it's not finished or not installed correctly. I'm going to have to check into that and see if we can reinstall it or something. We'll go to the avionics pack at the end and see. It's weird that, uh, I mean, I heard that they did updates with the avionics and they did it with uh, this Microsoft Flight Simulator, so I don't see why it would not work, you know? But these kind of things happen. Let's see. If this works, then we'll be good. We'll go ahead and jump back into our flight plan and get started and on our way. If not, we'll switch aircrafts to uh, a different one. I would like to use this, though, so let's see. If not, um, we'll check different variations of it. Okay, so... Avionics is on. That is weird. Okay, so there's something going on with this. Very, very strange. Very strange indeed. Hmm. It's okay. Um, let's go to... Let's see. What is happening with all this stuff, you know? Okay, so that's both updated. Huh. So everything should be installed and ready. That's so weird. Why is this plane not working for us then? Super strange, huh? Huh. Let's just check uh, if it's the aircraft with the livery that's messing it up or what. Let me see. If it doesn't load with this, then I know it's not the livery because this is standard pack with um, Microsoft Flight Sim. So. <coughs> Excuse me. Hello, hello. What's going on? How you doing today? We're just trying to figure out these new avionics system here. Uh, we're going to do a short flight, 30 minutes, um, once we get in the aircraft here to Houston, uh, from San Antonio to Dallas. So, we're just uh, checking some things real quick here. Something's going on with the avionics equipment um, not working properly in this aircraft, which is kind of slightly disappointing because uh, I really wanted to do a flight with the Cessna Longitude today. So we'll see how it goes we might have to change it to the CRJ let's see all right yeah dang so there is a problem oh man that stinks oh, this kind of stuff happens I wonder if we just um, cancel out and go back into the sim completely if that would work jeez first let's just check um, the CRJ real quick and see if that plane is working or not hi depart hello what's going on Jay flying what are you doing what's up man how are you we're doing a flight. We're trying. I'm trying to do a flight in the longitude tonight, but for some reason the avionics is freezing on me. So I'm gonna try one more time to load up a different aircraft and see if it's the problem with the aircraft or if it's uh, the flight. I simulator. am good. Ah, good to hear. Good to hear. I am well, Bu. Okay. Good. 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 Glad everybody's doing good tonight. Thank you guys for joining me on this flight. We uh, are going to try to be flying in the... Okay, so this one's working. They had a new update on this, and it's uh, it's super cool. It automatically uh, initiates its position, which is pretty cool. Um, maybe we'll take this plane, then. I didn't know 
if uh, this one would be good to go or not. Um, so I guess we'll find out. Yeah, maybe we'll take this plane then. They had an update on it, so it should be pretty fun to fly. Hmm. Yeah, I guess we'll take the CRJ tonight since the other one's not working. Okay. All right. The CRJ must uh, be working here, so we'll take the Cessna Citation uh, CJ3. Yeah. All right, cool. So let's go back to our original flight plan, which is going to be San Antonio to uh, Dallas, and we'll be flying on the CJ... Uh, what is this, the CJ-4? Yep. I guess we switch it up. But that's cool, the avionics equipment on this aircraft have been updated, so it'll be uh, actually pretty cool to see. They did a very good modeling job with this aircraft as well, so... I guess, uh, you know, this is real time, so we have issues sometimes, yeah, it happens. We'll go ahead, put ourselves back on the ground, and continue our flight plan as needed. Alright, we get set back up and ready for our flight. Boom. This is where we're going to be departing from here. And uh, we'll be going up to Dallas where it is currently 31 degrees chilly, snowing. We're having a winter storm here in Texas today. And uh, we're moving this aircraft from the ice to the snow. So, uh, yeah, there was a cold... Um, weather conditions, which is not uh, normal, apparently, for this uh, Texas area, but nevertheless, sometimes it gets cold in Texas, and you know, you gotta put your cowboy boots away for some snow boots, I guess. Alright, there we go, San Antonio. So, here's our flight plan, 220 miles, uh, 34 minutes, and uh, we're gonna put on real weather condition. Um, we got a five mile per hour wind coming from the north to the south, and it is currently 7:21 p.m. Um, let's see here. Humidity is 68. It feels like 26 in Dallas. Yeah, it should be an interesting flight. We're going from some severe weather to some bad weather. But hey. We're going to try some new things out tonight with the weather conditions, so that should be fun. Let's get loaded and start our flight. I am going to Kilo Sierra Alpha Tango in March. Oh, yeah? Cool. That is awesome. What are you going to do over there? Let's see here. All right, here we are. This is a cool plane, and I think they modeled it back of the aircraft as well. See that? That's so cool. I don't think I think that's new, because um, I don't remember them modeling the back of the aircraft, which is really cool that they did that. I don't know if the door opened or anything like that, but it is super neat that they did that. Uh, maybe they already did that, and I just forgot. I don't know. But nevertheless, let's go ahead and turn the avionics on. Get this clearance delivery plane, liberty uh, seven five seven IFR to DFW. Ready to copy. Ready to go here. Liberty 757 is clear to DFW airport and filed. Take off runway tree one left. Let's uh, get the checklist out and make sure that I, I'm doing this correct here. 
before start, right? Before starting, engine brake is set. Power lowers are idle. Battery switch is on. Master switch is on. Emergency lights are armed. All right, before checklist. Okay, let's push to start. Let people know we're about to start up this engine here. Let's get the fuel pumps on too. type it in that's all right I know how to do that now so all right engines coming up looking good I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that we got enough fuel on board as well Checklist, master on. Then lights are required. All right, cool. Let's uh, see what we got here. Good there. Flight plan, legs. Oh, there is a discrepancy there. Execute. Next. Okay, it looks good. Yeah. Alright. That's pretty cool. I like the avionics. Super straightforward, simple aircraft. Let's go ahead and put on live weather, live time, and uh, get ready for some partying now. Alright, that is good and checked and done. 
here we are on the ground. Let's go ahead and turn our taxi and landing lights on. As you can see, it's kind of snowy and icy out here. We're going to need a pushback. Let's go ahead and put our um, radio on here. And we'll call for our request IFR taxi. San Antonio, ground Liberty 757, with echo ready to taxi IFR. Liberty 757, taxi 2, and hold short of runway 31 left using taxiway Delta Cross runway 4. Contact tower on 119 or decimal 8 when ready. My nephew will graduate from military boot camp. Taxiing hold short runway oh, that's awesome. left Congratulations. using taxiway Delta Cross runway 4, Liberty 757. Right. Lights. Light wing on. We're going to need that for the anti-ice here today. Um, Seatbelt sign. Go on. Logo light can go on. Landing light. Uh, we got pulse light is on as required. That looks good. Alright, I think we can go ahead and dial that down. There we go. Now we are looking fantastic here. And we are ready for our pushback. And let's get on our way. San Antonio Ground Liberty 757. We're gonna keep uh, pedo heats off until we are ready for departure here. Man, this is so cool. I love this plane. I don't know why I don't fly this plane more often. Let's put flaps set for takeoff. Snowy, icy, man. I feel bad for the flight crew out there tonight. It's cold. Whew you know? Alright, here we go. We'll put our anti-ice protection on as well. Yeah, um, San Antonio is a big military town. It's, uh, well, Texas in general is very military friendly, which is super cool. Alright, let's go take the brakes off here. There we go, and we got our pushback crew. Thank you so much to this guy who is working in this freezing weather so that we can sit here comfortably in the nice heat of the aircraft. I'm not going to complain about that, you know? Turn that fan up a little bit there. That way you can go ahead and have some nice warm weather here. I don't think we need fuel pumps on for takeoff. I have them off right now because the engines are running. Let's just do a fuel check one more time here. 73% fuel on board. Everything else looking pretty good. We're going to put our nav on. That should connect us with this. Um, oh yeah, FMC 1. Alright, so yeah, that should do it. Uh, we should be able to fly everything pretty much standard. Man, this is such a cool aircraft. I really don't understand why I don't use this more often. But here we are, and uh, we're doing it now, so that's a good thing. San Antonio, ground Liberty 7 Set my brake here. Requesting the end of pushback. Thank you so much. All right, let's go ahead and take the brake back off and start our taxi. Thanks, Bob. Appreciate your help. I don't want to hit him with the wing, you know. All right, here we go. Like I said, a short flight. Probably most of it was uh, spent there. So we'll go ahead and put in. Uh, let's see what the altitude um, and all that stuff is. They say climb 18, 11,000 feet, squawk 7245. So we'll go ahead and put in 11,000 feet here while we're taxiing. Pretty cool. I'm just go ahead and put 11,000 in. That'll do 2,000 feet per minute climb rate. And uh, we'll 
go put ourselves on heading mode in a minute here once we get over there. I don't know if we are squawking what we're supposed to be. I think the radios are set for auto. And we have to be careful going too fast on the runway because it is icy and snowy out here, so I'm gonna keep that in mind. Are we already clear for departure? Well. Oh, no, not clear. Okay, we're still taxiing. Let's get our... Um, San Antonio Tower Liberty 757, ready for IFR departure, runway 31 left. All right. Liberty 757, altimeter 30 decimal, 24 wind 346 at 3024. Cleared for takeoff, runway 31 left. All right, we're clear. Cleared for takeoff, runway 31 left, Liberty 757. Clear for takeoff. There's three one left right here. Let's just wind up here. Alright. There we go, guys. Um put the runway heading on. Okay. That's set. And now we will just uh get ready for departure here. Let's put our Heat, heat back on, and here we go. Power set. A little bit of a crosswind here, and put a little bit of left rudder in there. And one, rotate. Jeez, came right off. Plane is no joke. Go gear up here. See you later, San Antonio. Liberty 757, contact San Antonio departure on 118 decimal. Go ahead five. and put Good day. our gear, our flaps are coming up. 118 decimal 05 Liberty 757. All right, let's go ahead and put the nav on. Is passing 2, Autopilot, feet, climbing 11, nav. Feet. Liberty 757, San Antonio, departure altimeter 30 decimal 24, continue to dark as planned. 3024, continuing as planned. We are already getting up there in our speed. Alright, now we're talking here. Let's go ahead and climb up a little faster and we'll bleed off some of that airspeed. Uh, we should have nav coming in there in a minute. Let's see uh, if we can activate that. Alright. Oops. Did I mess that up? Oh, there we go. Alright, that should do it. Alright. Put some more power in there. Could go flight level change mode with this too. Truthfully, I don't even know. Um, does flight level change? Does that work? Oh yeah. See if that works. Beautiful. It's nice up here, huh? For a clear.
cold night. Super, super beautiful weather. So we're only doing about um, 206 um, nautical miles over here to our destination. That's 9,000 coming up on. 10,000, we'll go ahead and shut off our landing lights. Oh yeah, there they are. are off, hitting 11,000 feet, continuing as planned. Let's make sure they have our clearance. In. Houston Center, Liberty 757, requests destination change to DFW. Let's see here. Liberty 757 is cleared to DFW airport and filed. Squawk 7245. 79 miles to our first Liberty 757 cleared to DFW airport as filed. Right. Squawk 7245. Looking pretty good. Zero three five, proceed on course. Continue to dart turning and following. So we're good. We're on nav. We're at altitude of hold. We're good so far. Liberty seven five seven contact San Antonio departure on one one eight decimal zero five. One one eight decimal zero five. Good day. One one eight decimal zero five for Liberty seven five seven. All right, we're doing two hundred and seventy. San Antonio departure Liberty seven five seven eleven thousand feet. Let's climb the engine. Liberty 757, San Antonio, departure altimeter, tree zero decimal two tree, continue to dart as planned. Don't want to overspeed here. Okay. We're good. Golden. I forgot how nice this plane was to fly, huh? I love the new avionics. This is way better than before, huh? How about that? Looks so much better, yeah? The avionics update in the CJR4. How about that, huh? I love it. I love it, I love it, Going I love to it. One, two, zero, decimal, six, Liberty, seven, five, seven. Well, we'll fly the longitude another Houston day, Center, yes, Liberty, bro. Seven, five, seven, 11, feet. Liberty 757, Houston Center, altimeter, three, zero, decimal, two, five. Continue to dart as planned. Continue to dart Liberty 757, contact, San Antonio, departure, on one, one, eight, decimal, zero, five. One, one, eight, decimal, zero, okay. five, good day. Going to one one eight decimal zero five Liberty seven five seven San Antonio departure Liberty seven five seven eleven thousand feet Liberty seven five seven San Antonio departure altimeter tree zero decimal two five continue to dart as planned Liberty seven five seven contact Houston Center on one two zero decimal six Good day Going to one two zero decimal six Liberty seven five seven Houston Center Liberty seven five seven eleven thousand feet Liberty seven five seven Houston Center altimeter three zero decimal two five continue to dart as planned Okay Continuing to dart as planned Liberty seven five seven contact Houston Center on one two five decimal six five Good day all right, what to decimal six five? Good day. Going to one two five decimal six five Liberty seven five seven. Houston Center Liberty seven five seven eleven thousand feet. Liberty seven five seven Houston Center altimeter three zero decimal two eight continue to dart as planned. Two hundred and eighty knots, huh? That's not bad at all. Cool. So far, so good. Let's just 
take a look at this plane. It's a fun plane to be on, that's for sure. I wish I could go back there. It doesn't let you. I don't know how you can go back there. Super cool aircraft. I guess I'm learning a lot more about flying little by little. It's funny because when you first, when I first started flight sim, like almost a year ago on here, and I look at this, I was like, I don't know what any of this is, right? But now, coming back to this aircraft after knowing all the things that I know, it's like, easy for me to fly this. I mean, not easy. I mean, listen, every aircraft requires um, a vast level of studying because there's certain systems and ways of doing things. So it's like a little bit difficult, right? But um, I know a lot more, so it makes it slightly easier than it did when I first started, is what I guess I should say, because I don't know everything, especially every single aircraft. It's very difficult to know everything. There's so many different buttons. I don't know what they do, all of them. Uh, it would basically take you flying the same plane for a long time and learning every ounce of it uh, until you are tapped out of information. Then you will definitely know 100% the aircraft, all the buttons, everything, the functionality of it, what it does, why it does it. Then you can say that you're a master at that aircraft. Now, I only know... Um, different things from different aircrafts and I, I jump from aircraft to aircraft so often sometimes I forget what I learned in a previous aircraft so coming back to it is almost like a new start for me uh, so it's like you know it's fun and challenging I, I don't remember the landing speed for this aircraft as well uh, I'm gonna go with flaps full to about 110 knots on landing or 120 um, something around there I don't want to land too fast too slow I don't really know <laughs> but uh, I guess yeah this is our cruise altitude for today only 11,000 feet um, as requested we are squawking 7254 um, everything else is going pretty pretty according to plan our altimeter is set for 3028 and uh, let's just double check that oh it's it's saying uh, that we have it set incorrect here. That's standard. Um, I change the altimeter setting to barometric pressure isn't the question. That is something I don't know. See, it's uh, set for a different setting here, so that is a question. I don't know how to do that. Normal? Oops. Oh boy. I screwed up the uh help is there. Uh oh. It's cute. Oh thank god. Okay. My bad. Don't touch that button. <laughs> See? Uh, that's the problem. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, don't touch that either. Paramedic 
pressure. Since we're on localizer, there we go. Nav. Is it gonna hit the nav or what? Dude, oh boy. And okay, nav mode is on. But this is saying localizer. Why? I think I'm off course here. Maybe. Let's check. Altitude. Oh no. It looks like it's going back on. Altitude. Okay. You are 300 feet below your assigned altitude. Autopilot came off. Climb and maintain 11,000 feet altimeter. 30 decimal 29er. 30 29er. Climb and okay. maintain Sorry. Yeah, I messed everything Altitude. up. Altitude. Got it. We're gonna get back on track here. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We should be fine. I don't wanna touch anything. Keep screwing things up. Climb and maintain 11,000 feet. We are at 11,000. We're still in heading mode. I don't know if we're getting on course here. Altitude. Altitude. I don't know why it keeps yelling at me for altitude. Paramedic pressure should be alright now. Go ahead and try to get back on that nav. Okay, see, we're off the line a little bit there. Let's head back over, try to cross that line and get back on track. Hopefully it picks up the V nav again. Kind of screwed that up, huh? Got the two to hold is on. Is the VNAV going to pick up for us? We're going to find out in a minute here. Let's try to get back on track. Hundred and thirty one miles to go. BTWI just got a new frock from a friend who is in Ireland on vacation. A new frog? Oh yeah? Oh, that's awesome. What, for like a pet? Let's see, is this nav going to catch up? Oh, that's cool. Ireland? I've never been to... How is... Anybody been to Ireland before? I wonder how that is. It's got to be pretty cool. I don't even know what I would do in Ireland. It looks like we're picking up that VNAV line now. Let's see if it switches over. Oh, okay, so that's a click. Okay. All right, the nav did pick up. All right, so now we're back on that nav track to uh, Dallas. Very nice, very nice. I was worried about that for a second. I didn't know if it would pick it up, but we are turning on course back towards Dallas. 128 miles to go, 11,000 feet. Um, so far, so good. Oh, frock is British English term meaning dress. Ireland is nice. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. It's a British term meaning dress. 
Oh, you learn something new every day. Cool. I did not know that. Ireland is nice. It'd be cool to travel to different places like that. I just, uh... I don't know. I don't know if I would ever have a reason to go to Ireland, to be honest. I'm not even sure you, what you do there. I heard it's beautiful, though. Alright. You think the CAJ-4 will make it to Ireland? I wonder. We should do a flight to Ireland. What plane will we have to fly? The Dreamliner or something? I maybe they'll come out with a big aircraft for the flight sim that we can fly across the ocean. Oh, actually, you know what? I do have one plane, but it would take a lot of planning. I have a lot of regional aircraft. Um, I wonder what plane would be good for a long... I wonder... Let's see... Is there any private jets that can make it? That is the question. Maybe the Longitude, right? The Longitude probably has some sick range. I bet you that thing can go across the ocean. I like the new avionics in this aircraft. It's super cool. I just keep touching buttons and uh, I don't know what I'm doing. That's the only issue. We got to get some new liveries for this aircraft as well. I'm going to have to ask my brother-in-law. Because he does all that for me. And uh, I don't use this plane that often. So I'm going to have to do that. So it... An hour ago I finished a flight on my flight sim from LHR to hell. Nice. Awesome. What did you fly? What plane? Only 111 nautical miles to go here. We're almost uh, in Houston, or Dallas, Dallas, Dallas. I keep saying Houston, I don't know why. Thin air at 350. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, that's awesome. How long did that take? Three hours, wow, yeah. That's awesome. Very cool. I want to do a flight. Three hours. Very nice. I want to do a flight with the uh, Mad Dog. I have this aircraft, I love it, but God, sometimes it's so frustrating because I do a lot of flight planning with it and then it doesn't work out for me. This plane is so cool. Three decimal zero niner, continuing as planned. How do you switch the barometric pressure um, from HPA to the other one? To IN? I don't know how to do that. I want to switch the barometric pressure. I don't, I'm not sure how. Cannot figure out how to use the paramedic pressure in here. Hmm. I wonder. I 
got 78 miles to go, and then we'll be coming to all of our waypoints quicker here. How do we get this? Uh... So far, so good. Does this show? stuff but I don't want to mess anything up through some clouds sometimes. We're going to have to probably put it back on on landing here. So far it's not bad. Pretty beautiful night here. Love this aircraft. Almost there. It's crazy because like uh we have 66 miles to go to the waypoint, but, uh, next. Yeah, it's going to be pretty much this is it. So, they'll probably start to descend shortly here, I'm guessing. Within the next, uh, 40, 50 miles. Maybe, maybe 40 miles they'll start descending us. I don't know. We'll find out. JR-4. Fun aircraft, that's for sure. How can you tell the difference between the 3 and the 4? I always wondered. Tan's transition, clear to tan. This plane's awesome to fly, huh? We're gonna be going into some clouds. Remember, it's currently, is it still snow in the sea? Dallas, Texas weather. Oh yeah, okay, so it's 30 degrees now. Still snowing. And, uh, yeah, five mile per hour wind from the north, it's 95% uh, humidity, 88 uh, humidity, I'm sorry, feels like 25, visibility is seven miles, and we have uh, 3033 three three barometric pressure. All right, so there's the weather for Dallas. gives information for landing. 
Nothing fall. Oh boy. I didn't put any of that in. It's required. It's probably gonna be wet condition though. Light plan. Performance. Approach. Oh boy. Winds are we're gonna put all that in in a minute. Zero, three, nine. Right now. We're gonna see how this goes here. We don't know what the winds are yet, so we gotta put that in, I guess, to figure out. It is wet conditions, I believe. Temperature is 30. Celsius? No. What is 30 Celsius? 86 Fahrenheit. Oh, crap. No. Um, so, it is... What is 30 Celsius? What is 30 Celsius? It says Celsius, right? 30 Celsius. Winds. It says it's a five mile per hour wind. We'll get the winds in a minute here. Descent and maintain 6,000. Maintain 6,000 feet, Liberty 757. Altitude. Okay. 6,000 feet. Ten thousand landing lights can go on. Keeping our ice on here. Fifty percent. Liberty seven five seven, please expedite your descent six thousand feet. Okay. Expedite our descent six thousand feet. Give a little ding-a-ling for the passengers there. Let them know we are descending. Put a little speed brake out there. Help us to slow. some ice here, some snow, all right we're coming up to 6,000, let's put that back up, let's see what they tell us to do next, altitude, 6,000 feet coming up in 1,000. All right. 
Right, it looks like uh, we're starting to see some of the ground here, broken clouds. So far, so good. We're at 6,000 feet, doing about 225 knots, which is probably too fast, to be honest. Liberty 757, contact regional approach on 119 decimal 4. Good day. Landing lights are on. Going to 119 decimal 4, Liberty 757. I'm just going to have to keep an eye on our flight controls here. Regional approach, Liberty 757, 6,000 feet. Three zero three two continue as planned. They'll probably give us the winds before landing here, hopefully. Thirty miles out. We're slowing. Trying to keep the airspeed down here. I want to start slowing the aircraft down so we can get the flaps out here in a minute. Looks like it's coming up on the approach here. The APP approach, we can activate that once we see something. Let's see where we're at from the runway. Altitude. Oh yeah, okay. Still good here. There's Dallas. It's going to be a straight in approach, so that's kind of cool. Uh, we're left of the runway, it looks like, too, so maybe the localizer should be activated here. Some weather we're coming into here. All right, not not very nice. I'm gonna go ahead and get that flaps set there to one, so we can slow our aircraft. A little bit there. I don't see the runway yet. Um, let's see how far we are from it. Four miles out. We should be able to hit um, the localizer. Seventy-five knots. There's the glide path there. There we go. APP approach. Nav one localizer should be coming in shortly. Descend down to 5,000. Yeah, back on. Let's go down to 5,000 feet here. Altitude. Altitude, okay. 
We're gonna keep airspeed up for a minute here. APP approach should be able to come along. Altitude. Altitude. Bypass should be coming in here. Mobilizer on. All right, descend 3,000. Copy that. Descend and maintain 3,000 feet. Liberty 757. Let's put flaps full. Put that down. We should have APP approach on. Go ahead and gear down. Flaps are full. Gear is coming down. 14 miles out. Just keep an eye out. Make sure we don't do anything crazy right now. Five mile out. Should be coming up with the runway shortly here. Seven mile visibility, so right now it's 13 miles out. Should be able to see the runway in about, <coughs> what is that, like uh, six miles? I'll probably hand fly it in once we see the runway in sight. All right, we got some icy and rainy conditions here, so uh, should be a fun one. But the winds are calm, so that's a good thing for us. Looks like localizer is on, APP approach is on, glide path is established. Should be on track. Uh, if everything's reading accurately, we should be on track. Should be on track, hopefully. Find out soon enough. Pretty crazy conditions to land in, if I'm being honest, but hey. That's what makes this game fun, is uh, that you put on real weather, real conditions. I love that about this. Super fun. 10 miles out. Should be able to see the runway soon. Okay. Contact DFW Tower on 126.55 when inbound on the approach. Inbound on the approach now. Tower on 126.55 Liberty 757. DFW Tower Liberty 757 11 miles south inbound ILS runway 35 left approach. Liberty 757 DFW Tower. Altimeter tree 0 decimal tree 51007 at tree. Cleared ILS runway 35 left approach. Seven. DFW Tower Liberty 757 inbound ILS runway 35 left approach. Liberty 757 DFW Tower. Altimeter tree 0 decimal tree 51007 at tree. Cleared ILS runway 35 left approach. DFW Tower Liberty oh, 757 inbound ILS runway 35 left approach. So we're, we are good. Liberty 757 DFW Tower. Altimeter tree 0 decimal tree 51007 at tree. Clear zero, zero, ILS seven, runway 35 left approach. Yeah, 7 mile visibility. We can't see it DFW yet. DFW Tower Liberty 757 inbound ILS runway 35 Oh, I see the runway now. There it is. Liberty 757 DFW Tower. <laughs> Why do they keep repeating themselves? Okay, brother. Take it easy. They're glitching out. Look, we got snow underneath the clouds here. We had ice up there. We got a little bit of a wind coming in from the left side here. Zero, zero, 007 at 3, so... Oh, yeah, we are... 
way off. Okay, so we're getting pushed over. Let me go ahead and uh, take us off here. I'm gonna hand fly it for a minute. Back on track. getting pushed over this why so I'm just gonna take control here but we're fine Seven F four, clear to land. Clear to land, runway tree five, left Liberty seven five seven. Okay, here we go. All right, flaps are down, gear is down, and lock three green. Um, winds are seven F four, barometric pressure is set. Everything's good. All right, we'll be on the ground here shortly in uh, Dallas, Dallas, Texas, baby. Yeehaw! Let's do it. It's a fun flight. Mm, Clyde path is way underneath us. We gotta get down a little bit here. path here. We look like we're climbing up there. I'm landing a little bit high just to uh, weather conditions, you know. Exiting runway when able. All right, welcome to Dallas, ladies and gentlemen. Liberty seven five seven contact ground on one three one decimal zero. One three one decimal zero. Good day. Going to one tree one decimal zero. All right, Liberty let's go ahead and turn that off. Ground and request taxi to parking. Ground Liberty 757 request taxi to parking. Liberty Keep come off when the is off. Taxiway Lima, Tree Echo Lima. Taxiing to General Aviation Parking via Taxiway nice. Lima, Tree Echo Lima, Liberty 757. Okay. Welcome to Texas. I mean, well, welcome to. Dallas, I should say. We already left Texas, but cool. Here we are. Uh, 
That was a fun flight to Texas, huh? Interesting. I like it. Um, flying in the snow. That was pretty cool. We'll have to get the plane washed tomorrow from, uh, from that trip, but uh, still, nevertheless, it was pretty fun. Landed a little bit high. Probably should have been a little bit lower on the glide slope. Uh, but, you know, if you live, you learn. And uh, here we are, safely on the ground. So, super cool. I'm really uh, impressed with Microsoft Flight Simulator. They really are continuing to update and keep things uh, relevant and update even their own personal aircrafts, which is just really cool. Super cool to see that they take so much pride in what they do, you know. It's got to be super complicated to do all these updates and everything too, but wow, what a great job they're doing, you know. I mean, sometimes it doesn't go right for certain aircrafts, but they always seem to correct the issue when they figure it out, so. Alright, let's see what we got here for the air marshals. Let's turn here. And let's turn it in. Let's see what we got going on here. There he is, the air marshal. Alright. The great crew in Dallas. Oh, he wants us to come up. All right, let's set the brake. And uh, let's go ahead and shut these babies down, huh? nice aircraft. I love it. Alright, let's shut out the rest of this aircraft and call it a day. Thank you guys again for flying with me tonight. Beautiful night here. Please stay warm and uh, once again we did it. There's another safe flight in the books, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you guys so much for flying with me. I hope you appreciated this video. If you did, consider subscribing to the channel. Smash the thumbs up and I'll see you guys in the next live stream. Thank you once again. And uh, yeah. Bye. Peace.